the brilliance of O'Shea Duke Jackson. Here's the thing, I want you guys to actually sit here and listen to what I'm about to say. I hope you guys really recognize and understand and are learning from the resource we have called O'Shea Duke Jackson. When I say the guy is brilliant, I mean it, and I think it's a great time that we acknowledge exactly what the man has done. For those of you who don't know, this is a brother who's over in Poland in medical school. Now, I've been around on YouTube uh, for the better part of about four years now, and before I even knew anything about a black manosphere, I had about 10, 12,000 subscribers. And I studied this kind of stuff because I have an advertising and marketing background. And to have a man who's in medical school build not one, but two successful YouTube platforms that actually are a meeting place for black men around the world is astonishing. It's never really been done before. O'Shea has done something that I think is freaking phenomenal. He's taking his own platform to where it is, he's not the star. He's like the master conductor of so many black men across this digital landscape. He works with the black manosphere, pro-blacks. He will work with anyone, interview anyone. I remember he interviewed a brother by the name of Eric Stanley, uh, a, a, concert, a, a concert musician. All of this while being in medical school. O'Shea is so good at what he does that we forget that he's in medical school in Europe. Now, look at the platform that he's built. Look at how it's actually changed the dialogue and, and communication on, online. Believe it or not, O'Shea is an influencer outside of YouTube. The Negro Manosphere, the Black Manosphere, actually is changing the conversation. People are looking at what's going on over here and responding. And O'Shea has actually been able to, he's actually been able to change and evolve himself to be able to take advantage of that leadership position. Hey, you know, we can still have fun over here roasting and this and that, but just go back several years ago and look at how the platform has changed. He's actually got things he's done with Phil and the advice show, things he's doing over in Africa. He's got his hands in everything. Like one of the best maestros to ever do it. And honestly, I think being, and honestly, I think black men, you really need to pay attention to this from a business standpoint, a personal standpoint, and use this as, and, and look and study and see what he's been able to accomplish. Take these kind of, take this as a learning experience to be able to map it over and say, you know what? How do I deal with people I have a conflict with? How do I deal with people who I normally wouldn't even deal with? And to be able to resonate and work with these people to where you can get support from an audience, uh, keep your channel up on YouTube and do all this kind of stuff is something I truly believe is going to be studied. I think, I honestly truly believe that People will be studying what's happened on black man on the side of YouTube and realize what one man was able to do with sheer work ethic, determination, grit, and the ability to actually do what he does with his own sense of humor, uh, way of way he does what he does, by remaining true to himself and by admitting when he's wrong, admitting his mistakes not getting stuck on old beefs and old things like that. It's impressive. And I hope you brothers are really paying attention to how impressive it is. Let him, let him know down in the comment section what you think of what he's been able to accomplish, what he's been able to do. Because one of the things as black men, we often, we don't congratulate each other. We don't, we don't, we don't big up each other. We generally wait till somebody's dead or gone before we say something good about him. Say something good about him now. I mean, He's got the numbers, he's got the support, but brothers need to hear that it matters. Black men need to hear that it made a difference. Um, I've been wanting to make this video for a minute, but honestly I was kind of like, I don't know how to come about it because I know how we can be sometimes. 
but I'm asking for us to be the best part of ourselves. And honestly, I think O'Shea has given us, given a lot of black men an opportunity to be more than they ever thought they could be. I think it's important for black men to let each other know how we feel about stuff like that. I think the man's brilliant. I'm impressed. You know, when I first met him, I've seen the, tra the change, the growth. And uh, yeah, when I say brilliant, I'm, I didn't pick the word brilliant just because it sounds good. It's brilliant. Congratulations, man. Peace.